Hi, welcome. I'm Paul Friedman. I am the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And as a earlier divorce mediator, it was I who came up with these discoveries, which led to techniques and methods for marriage that I think are unsurpassed. Today's video is going to be on anger. And we get emails from people who want to deal with their own anger and other emails from people who want to deal with their spouse's anger. Anger is a problem universally. And you may find this interesting to know, but there's no one who doesn't have to deal with anger. Why? And this brings us to the heart of the matter. We have to bear in mind, we have to always keep in mind that we are souls. Now, the Marriage Foundation is not a religious organization. We're not connected to any religions or anything like that. But let's be realistic. Just because we don't have a dogma and we're not connected to a religion or a political group doesn't mean that we can't understand that spiritual things are just as real as non-spiritual things. The fact that we are a soul is really hard to argue with even though in Western psychology they call it an abstract thought. But that's silly because we have a mind and we know we're not our mind because we can control it. You can't control something that you are. And we also have a body. And the same thing, same thing applies. We can control the body. We can control the mind. Well, who is it that's controlling? It's the soul. You're a soul. And in fact, the mind is sort of the battleground between the body and its efforts to influence the mind and the soul. And it's more passive efforts to influence the mind. So what's going on here? Where does anger come from? So the body is all about one thing. It's about survival. And you know this from your biology classes when you were a kid in school. One cell, two cells, two trillion cells, doesn't matter. Living things we define by its innate desire, innate force to survive, do anything to survive. So what happens is this influence of the body, of the cells, is getting the mind to be its watchtower through the senses. And then its defense mechanism to protect the body. The body is material. The soul is spiritual, right? So you have the material body. This may sound very academic, but it's important for you to know. You're a, you're a human being. You should know what's going on with you. And the soul is spiritual. So you have these two forces, the material forces and the spiritual forces trying to influence the mind. Now, you might say that the soul is residing in the mind. The soul is, res soul is residing in the body too, but the mind's drive to survive is impacting, influencing the mind. It uses the senses to see what's going on, what's dangerous, and because it's about survival, and where's the opportunity. But mostly, it's fear-based. Survival is mostly fear-based. What's going to hurt me? What's going to attack me? And so it uses the senses. The sight, smell, sound, etc., to know when there's danger. And it goes into the mind, which includes this incredibly complex calculator, calculator, in order to decide what's really dangerous and what isn't. 
And well, how does it know? So it draws from memory of past experiences and memory of decisions that it's made in the past about that which is dangerous. And it's all residing in the subconscious. And so when the mind's filters, I hope this isn't too complex. It's very important that you understand this. When the mind's filters see danger, its first reaction is to run away or to fight. Fight or flight. That fight is an instinctive reaction that comes up in the form of anger. Bam. And that's it. There's your anger. It is a instinctive and instinctive reaction to perceived danger. And you might say, well, wait a minute. I didn't say anything that caused my husband to be afraid. Why did he get mad at me? Because it's perceived danger. And it's not all animal, like I'm being attacked physically, but it's more sophisticated. It's adapted. But it's still that animal instinct that creates this animal response called anger. What do I do with it? Now, that's part two, because part one is you have to understand anger. Part two is what you do with it. How do you deal with it? So we'll get to that next. So look for part two. Now, if you appreciate these videos, subscribe, share them, like them, because we're here for you. If you need any guidance, you could write into our free counselors. They'll help you. If you need to read one of my books, you could do that. Or you could take the course if your marriage is in terrible danger. But we're here to serve you. Okay. So get hold of part two.